Welcome to Bristol. I'm Amran, a final year chemistry student here at the University of Bristol. Today, I'm going to show you around our fantastic chemistry building at the heart of the Bristol campus in the middle of one of the most interesting and vibrant cities in the UK. Let's head up. One of my favourite things about chemistry at Bristol is our student society fusion. Last year I was the secretary and we won Society of the Year 2021 out of over 350 societies. It's a great way to meet new people on the course while socialising and making the most of your time here. Anyway, let's head inside. Chemistry has its own dedicated library here on the ground floor. As well as having all the textbooks I need, it's a really nice quiet place to come and study between lectures. There are also several rooms which are great for group study or for projects such as the final year research task I've just finished. Most of our lectures take place in one of the three large lecture theatres here. Our lectures are interactive, which means we often use our phones to answer practice questions and get help from the lecturer. All of our lectures are recorded, which is really helpful if I want to go over any parts of the lecture I found difficult or when it comes to revision. These are our teaching labs. In the first and second years of my degree, one of the highlights of my week was coming up to the labs here. This is Tasmia. She's using Bristol's dynamic lab manual, which is a really great way to practice, prepare and grow your confidence before coming up to the labs. The Chemistry Cafe is a great place to meet up with friends, grab some lunch or coffee, or work on a group project together. Computing and data science are becoming more and more important for solving problems in chemistry. Here in our computer labs, students learn how to code, how to model chemical systems, and how to visualise and analyse data. All courses include an element of this, and the school's new Chemistry with Computing course lets you specialise. This is one of the research labs that helps make Bristol a leading centre for chemistry research. The instruments in this lab use x-rays to locate every atom in tiny crystals of a substance. All sorts of new molecules and chemical structures have been discovered here. We're now in our diamond lab, where Sam, a final year chemical physics student, is carrying out his research project. Diamond has some incredibly useful properties, but diamonds are expensive. In this lab, they make new diamond by layering carbon atoms onto surfaces in a vacuum chamber. This is our Nuclear Magnetic Resonance or NMR lab. We have 12 NMR spectrometers that use superconducting magnets to study the chemical environments of atoms in different molecules. Students in the later years of their degrees can get hands-on experience using this equipment to study molecules they've made in the teaching labs. These are our synthetic chemistry labs where final year students can make molecules that have never been made before. There are 16 modules like this one in this part of the building, each one specialising in a different aspect of synthetic chemistry. The techniques being used here are identical to those that students practice in the teaching labs. The researchers in our synthetic chemistry labs need to weigh the molecules they make to ensure they have the right molecule. Our mass spectrometry labs are where those measurements are carried out. As well as determining molecular weight, we can see how a molecule breaks down into fragments and use this information to understand how the molecule is put together. Chemistry is at the heart of our campus. Over there is engineering and there's medicine. At the top of the hill ahead is physics and if you're interested in studying chemical physics here, you'll spend a bit of time up there as well. That's the end of our tour. I'm heading over to the other side of campus Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in Bristol really soon.